welcome back to another holiday recipe video thank you so much for watching in this one we're making a gravy so I just finished roasting a turkey breast and here are the drippings so I'm gonna use these drippings to make a gravy so the first step is gonna be to just add those drippings to a pot you want all that flavor inside of your gravy then I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat on medium low and in order to get more out of this and in order to soak up that oil because it might be a little bit hard to see but there's a lot of oil just kind of floating in there you can see it right here it's kind of just an oil layer sitting on top or sitting on top of the actual juices that came from the bird so I'm gonna do it a little bit different this time and take some flour and put it in here first and that way it will soak up the oil and I won't have to skim it off the top later so for my turkey breast I ended up with maybe a quarter to a third cup of drippings so I'm going to add maybe two tablespoons of flour and then just whisk it in And the goal is to get rid of all the lumps. So now that we got all the lumps out of there, this is what our gravy is looking like so far. Now I'm gonna take some chicken broth and put that in here to give the gravy some bulk. put about half of this 32 ounce container of chicken broth and now you just want to bring this to a boil and stir it occasionally so I'm cranking it up to high and you want to come back with your whisk every two or three minutes just because that flour may settle to the bottom of the pan and then stick and that's not what you want so make sure you're coming back and whisking it every couple minutes I'm actually gonna put it on medium high, so around seven or eight, not completely on high. Okay, so now we have it at a boil. And it's looking good. So I'm gonna drop the temperature down to low now and then we can start to season it. Actually, let's give it a taste first. I know that it's gonna need salt, but tasting it will tell you just how much salt it needs. So I'm going to dip, you can see that it's already coating the spoon so the actual texture of it is pretty good at this point so it does need some salt so I'm going to add probably about a teaspoon of salt I'm also going to add some complete seasoning this will be a great place to put some garlic and herb seasoning if you have that I'm going to add some garlic and onion powder so here's the onion powder here's the garlic powder and then also some black pepper And now it tastes perfect. It is so good. And I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on top of rice. But this is seriously like the easiest gravy recipe you can ever make. So if you guys decide to give this a try, be sure to come back and let me know in the comments how you liked it. And one more tip I wanna give you is that if you are putting this gravy over white rice and it's not seasoned at all, then over salt the gravy because the rice is not seasoned. So you want the, the gravy to thoroughly season the rice too. So I always make my gravy a little bit more salty than I would eat it if I were gonna eat it by itself, just because I wanted to really season the rice too. 